Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the NJ Podcast. This podcast aims to share stories, tips, and insights about achieving success while having fun. From topics ranging from personal development to business, entertainment, and sports, the podcast will have conversations with experts and people in their respective fields. The podcast will also share insights from Jabra James's published and upcoming books. The tagline, which is the theme of the podcast, is success is a progressive realization of a worthy ideal. This means that you are doing what you have always wanted to do because it is aligned with your highest values and this is the only way you can live a truly fulfilled life. Your host, Jablo James. Hey everyone, this is NJ here. Welcome to another segment of the foolishness of preaching where we talk about the gospel of Jesus Christ. And today we're here to celebrate the life and the teachings of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who was not just a teacher but the greatest teacher and preacher to have ever walked this earth. Let's begin with this message with a funny story. Now, there was a man who had a habit of talking to himself. And one day he was walking down the street and a passer noticed him and said, Why are you talking to yourself? The man replied, I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to Jesus. The passerby was very impressed and asked, Does Jesus talk back to you? The man replied, No, but he's the best listener. I've ever had. Let us pray. Lord God, we thank you very much that you came, lived, died, and rose again. And we're not just a simple man, but the greatest preacher and teacher this world has ever known. But more than that, you are the son and you are the son of the living God. May we all learn to know and love you as that is the reason that you came to earth and taught us the great lessons that you taught. Open our hearts and minds today. In Jesus' name, amen. Jesus carried the gospel everywhere. And everywhere he went, he affected the place just by the foolishness of preaching. Entire cities were turned upside down if he came into the city he would wreck the entire city whole social systems were disrupted by his preaching he was just awesome if he started preaching in the desert people would meet him in the desert if he got inside a house and started preaching he would fill the house until people were filled in the door and in the windows and in the closets One house got so congested that four men carried another man up a wall and across the roof, cut a hole in the roof and lowered him down into the presence of the Lord. Without a TV ministry or a radio ministry or a business card or a flyer or a mailing list, if Jesus started preaching, he had no problem preaching a 5,000 men, not including the women and children, without a PA system, without a sound system, without a telephone, without any type of electronic device, Jesus could preach down in a dry place and get 5,000 men, not to mention women and children together, and they would stay and rather faint than to miss something that he said. He was completely awesome. And of all of the premier, distinguished, prolific, profound preachers of this hour, none could preach quite like Jesus. He didn't just have a word. He was the word. He was the abstract, invisible, intangible word of God that came forth from the presence of God and in the creation that said, Let there be, and it was. He was the same works that wrapped himself in a cloak of flesh and he tabernacled among us and we beheld the wonder of his glory, the only begotten of the Father full of grace and truth. Completely awesome. He preached with power and integrity and without ever having preached in a pulpit, he would preach in a graveyard until dead men came out of the tomb. It is this Jesus that we are talking about today. 
Jesus was the best teacher and preacher for many reasons. Firstly, he taught with authority. When Jesus spoke, people listened. He spoke with confidence and his words carried weight. In Matthew 7 verse 28 to 29, it says, When Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching because he taught as one who had authority and not as their teachers of the law. He spoke with authority. He didn't just repeat what others had said, but he spoke the truth that came directly from God. Secondly, Jesus was a master storyteller. He used parables to explain complex concepts in a way that was easy to understand. His parables were relatable, memorable, and had a profound impact on his listeners. In fact, many of his parables, such as the Good Samaritan, the Prodigal Son, and the Sower and the Seed, have become a part of our cultural heritage. Jesus was a unique teacher because he not only imparted knowledge, but he lived out the principles he taught. He didn't just talk the talk, but he walked the walk. In John 13 verse 15, Jesus said, I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. He showed his followers how to love, how to serve, how to forgive, and how to live a life pleasing to God. Jesus' teachings were radical and countercultural. He challenged the status quo and his teachings were often in direct opposition to the religious and political authorities of his time. His teachings on love, forgiveness and compassion were revolutionary and they continue to challenge us to this day. But Jesus was more than just a preacher or a teacher. He was the son of God who came to save us from our sins. He lived a perfect life and died on the cross to pay the penalty for our sins. And three days later, he rose from the dead, showing that he had conquered death and giving us the hope of eternal life. As Christians, we follow Jesus not because he was a great teacher and preacher, but because he is our Savior and Lord. We believe that he is the way, the truth, and the life, and that no one comes to the Father except through him, as we read in John 14 verse 6. So let us follow Jesus with our hearts, minds, and souls. Let us learn from his teachings, be inspired by his life, and be transformed by his love. And let us share the good news of his salvation with others so that they too may come to know him as the best teacher and preacher, as their Lord and Savior. As we close the service, I invite you to bow your heads and pray with me. If you've never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I encourage you to do so today. Just confess your sins to him, ask him to forgive you, and invite him to come into your life and be your Lord and Savior. And if you already know him, I pray that you would continue to follow him faithfully and share his love with others. If you have not yet accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I invite you to do so today. Through Jesus, we can experience the fullness of God's love, forgiveness, and the transformation of our character. If you would like to make this life-changing decision, please say the following prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, I confess that I am a sinner and that I am lost without you. You said that if we confess our sins, you are righteous and just enough to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. I recognize the sacrifice you made at the cross. Thank you, Jesus, for from today, I will read and obey your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Now may the Lord bless you and may the Lord keep you and may the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious unto you and give you his everlasting peace. May we know that Jesus was not only the greatest preacher and teacher of all time, but he was also the Son of God who has the power to save us from eternal damnation. And with him, we can live a life of hope. Amen.
Thank you for joining us on this episode on the NJ Podcast. Make sure to visit the website, the njpodcast.captivateair.fm, where you can subscribe to the show in iTunes, Stitcher, or the other podcast platforms, or via RSS, so you never miss a show. You can also find the video content on the YouTube channel and Instagram page. That will be in Jablo James on YouTube and Jablo.j.ngosi for Instagram. Please subscribe and follow on those platforms as well. And while you're at it, if you found value in the show, we'd appreciate a rating on the podcast platforms. Or if you'd like to tell a friend about the show, that will help us out too. If you'd like more information about published or upcoming books, visit www.njablojames.com for more information. Please reach out if you'd like to share what you would like to hear and which guests should be invited to the show. And remember, success is a progressive realization of a worthy ideal, which means that you are doing what you have always wanted to do because it is aligned with your highest values and this is the only way you can live a truly fulfilled life. Now just chill until the next episode.